Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to look at quickly um, a program called Terminator uh, that is very useful if you're using the Kali terminal. Okay, and uh, I'm just logging to the older version of the Kali, that's what I have, and I also have a newer version of Kali with me. Okay, so what I'll show you uh, what the newer and the older version, what's the main difference? So, if you have the older version of the Kali which is I'm running now, you know that one primary uh, way to identify that you can log in as root. That is really a large security risk. You should not be able to do that. Now over here, if I right click on it, you see there is no option to create, like the break this window side by side. So only way to place two different uh, terminal window would be you go there, right click on it, and then say another new window, and then resize this one again get this new window and place it maybe side by side and now you can uh, do some stuff here okay now with the new Kali first of all you are no longer login as root anymore okay and interesting over here you see that let me open up a new terminal so over here I'm just gonna open up terminal if we right click on it you have this interesting options split terminal horizontally and split terminal vertically so i no longer have to go and create two different terminals i just say okay just give me two terminals so here you see this big terminal is now split it into two so i can say do ping then say google.com is what i want to do uh, dot com so this window is going to be doing something over here maybe i want to run ns lookup and then again google.com okay so i can do a whole bunch of things now if i want to break even this window into multiple places multiple other small windows i can i can right click on it say okay split this one maybe horizontally so i have one over there and another at the bottom see this there is the break actually the right there is the break if you make it a little bit bigger you will know so over here you have like something over there here you can also run some commands Okay, so you can do something like uh, net discover. Okay, and let's see if we can run that. So uh, it's some here, and another good option is you need to run as sudo. Okay, provide the option here, and now see, in in really one command line, you are breaking this into smaller pieces. It looks really nice, and now you are doing multiple different commands, and you're doing whole bunch of stuff, right? Now, if you're still using the older version of your uh, Kali machine, so let me show you what you can do to get this feature. So I'm back to, this is not the Kali. Let's find the Kali machine that I have, the old one. Uh, this is the Kali. So instead of opening two, our goal is to break this window into two. And there are multiple uh, programs or packages that you can use. One of the interesting one is called the Terminator. So the easiest way would be just type terminator and see it says here yeah, command not found. Yeah, okay, very good. So let me see if I have access to Google really, I mean internet. So let me just push Bing and it says uh, I really don't have, so I need to first fix that. Make sure that I have access to internet. Okay, looks like I have uh, my, uh, uh, what is it, my, my, Internet is working. My DNS server is, is, is messed up. Okay, so let me try it one more time. Ping google.com. Yeah, it's not working. So let me fix the DNS server and then we'll go ahead and install our Terminator in here and do a quick demo on it. All right, let's just do the demo in here in a Debian system. So let's do app to get install and then do terminator okay and i have app get and i'm gonna use this a dash and uh, also in this one i cannot use sudo and it says correct the problem let's try apt install terminator Okay, so there is something wrong. So let's just fix that one. See if that helps us fix the problem. 
<clears throat> and you probably don't need to do all that so sometimes things get messed up especially with my system i do a lot of things and things get messed up a lot so all you really need to do is just install terminator okay let me pause once it's once i have it i'll come back and do the demo all right i fixed that and now i'm running the app get uh, app install terminator it's asking hey do you really want to install it let's say yes or just enter and it's going to take y this capital is going to take that as the default and it's installing my terminator and there we go and <clears throat> it's complaining about something uh, you may have a broken package so this one uh, is not good for this particular debian system so let me see what else can we do all right although it says the packet does the check fill okay you may have a broken package if i just ran the terminator it still brought up this page and if i right click on it look at that the split uh, vertically so now it's giving me two different screen uh, split say uh, what we want to do horizontally now it's giving me these two blocks over here i can do the same thing it says split horizontally again everything i can do here and again i can do a elif in this run it and here i can run a ping google.com okay in this blog i can do ns cup uh, yahoo.com and whatever i want to run here so if configure something i can run all all of that stuff it's uh, can be done with the, with the terminator so what i really wanted to show you that if you have the newer version of the kali you don't need to do all that stuff you just need the new kali and i I, I can promise that you're gonna love the interface and a lot of things I see I think that the ideas they have already taken from say our Parrot Linux and if you if you look at some of that stuff so let me just close this one and get maybe another blank one so just look at how crazy this is so now they have really nice color coding so if you're doing some of the commands like that you're looking for IP address and the MAC address they are just you know showing up as a really nice thing as color coded so here these are the ip addresses that are associated with my uh, interfaces okay then your mac addresses which is the ether okay they're also showing up in a different colors so it's really easy really nice to uh, look at what you have and and very very nice so i really am enjoying the new kali and thank you kali linux uh, for doing this for us okay so that's all i wanted to say so if you're still using old version of Kali or some other Debian system where you don't have this feature where you can actually uh, break the terminal into multiple pieces, you can use the tool Terminator. There are other options, but this is one of the main options that I have used a lot. Use it. If you're using Kali, enjoy this feature. Thank you very much.